All right, here we are at August 27th. So it's four more days left in this month and beginning of every new month is an opportunity for me to kind of decide what I wanna do next, if I wanna do anything at all. I don't have to. And of course, at the beginning of August, you saw that I shaved my big beard off. Many of you were shocked as well as my family and I have enjoyed this. I've really thoroughly enjoyed this. Do I want to stay this way? Probably not. Is the beard gonna come back? Uh, most likely. Maybe not the really big beard, at least not for a while, but I am still kind of playing around with this look and at least, you know, when, you know, taking it off this short, I have a lot, a lot of room to grow, so to speak. A lot of things I can play with. Like for instance, uh, what you're seeing right now is a one millimeter beard. It's just stubble. It's just stubble. If you, if you ever, if you've ever wondered, you know, what you should use as far as a beard trimmer, like the Beardscape, which is what I use, and what, what uh, guard you ought to be using, use a one millimeter guard if you just want a nice stubble look. And of course, that's against the grain. And I think it's a, it's a really fun look because I can go like this for probably three days. And this looks like, this actually looks like about three days worth of growth to me, on me at least. It wouldn't be for everybody. I know people who can grow beards much fa much faster that they might, ha they might look like they have more of a beard than this after one day. But for me, this is, looks like about three days worth of growth. It's, it's a one millimeter guard that I used on it. And also my head is about the same. I haven't uh, shaved my head. Um, in the past couple of days, but when I was playing around with this look before, I was shaving my head with either a cartridge razor or the Brio Raise. It's an electric razor, and I really like that a lot. I'm really hooked on that. That's a, it's a, just a great tool to have if you don't feel like using a blade, and it keeps you from getting cut and all sorts of things. It's just a really handy thing to have. If you're not used to using an electric razor, uh, then I would encourage you to try to do so. Now, I'm not talking about for your face necessarily, I'm talking about for your head. A lot of you guys who are watching this are not bald, but some of you are. And the bald and bearded look looks great. But I also like growing out, you know, my the hair on my head somewhat. Not to, any, not to any real length, but just, you know, just some fuzz on top. It's just nice every once in a while. Uh, a lot of times when I shave, well, yeah, when I shave my face, what I'll do is I'll go for a whole week without shaving. And then I'm ready to, you know, lop everything off. I tend to get a very tired, haggard look at some point. There's a spot in the growth that makes me just look very, to me, look, look very tired. Now, some of that can be mitigated if I shave my head and leave the beard, leave the shadow, or the scruff, as some people call it, stubble. Uh, shaving the head does help with that look, but, you know, there's a, there's just, you just have to kind of play around with things and understand where the fine line is and know what looks best for you. And in some cases, it might just be that I'm actually tired. But it shows up more with... Um, you know, with some, stub some stubble on your face. Now, what's funny about this time around of shaving my face is that most of the hair, well, I, I'd say at least maybe maybe about 60, 70% of the hair that's growing out is white. This is the first time in my life I've had white stubble. And of course, if you saw my big beard you, you, and you've tracked me over the years, you can see that my beard went from dark to salt and pepper to white pretty quick and it wasn't solid white and I don't I don't I'm not afraid of that I I'm, I welcome that I look forward to that but maybe not at 54 you know what I mean it just makes me look older and one of the things I've been getting a lot from people after I shaved my beard off is that it looks you makes you look so much younger and the, and the really strange thing about it to me is I feel like I look older not not older than I I was with the beard I thought the beard kind of hid some stuff because when I shaved my beard this time, my neck actually, the skin of my neck look, to me looks older. And I have a little, to me I have a little more, I don't have a double chin necessarily, but I have a little more skin under here. I, I mentioned that before. 
And my wife told me that the last time I shaved my beard off, I had more of a double chin, probably because I had more weight on me. I don't know if losing weight would actually make me lose anything that I got under here. I think it's just age. And when I made a video about beards and double chins, I, that's this is one of the things I talked about. Beards will hide those. So uh, they're really good to have, especially the longer type beards. If you have a shorter beard, a short beard, you know, close to the face beard will actually accentuate a double chin. So I don't recommend that. You know, make sure you grow your beard long enough to hide that if, it's, if that's what you're after. But this has been an inter interesting month. I don't know how I feel about the shaved look. I can tell you I do enjoy it. I do enjoy having this because I don't have to, you know, I don't have to check myself. I don't have to uh, really think about, you know, which product I'm going to use today. I don't think I have to think about washing it. What's, what's funny is that when I'm in the shower and I'm actually washing myself, sometimes I forget that I don't have a beard and I'm trying to wash my head without trying to get down in the beard area and realize, oh, I don't have a beard. I can wash my whole entire face. And another thing I've noticed is that when I'm eating, I'm still, I still have these leftover habits. These leftover habits of being careful about how I put food in my mouth so that it doesn't you know, get into my beard somehow from falling off the utensil or just, you know, if it's a, if it's a drink or whatever, I'm always conscious of the mustache and always checking the must, but it, I, I still do that. I still find myself, you know, being cautious and trying to wipe things away that aren't there. So it's, it's kind of funny to me. This month has been a kind of an interesting ride from you know, having shaved a big beard completely off, it's just a dra such a drastic change. And I would even, you know, I, I suggest to guys all the time they should grow a year out at least once in their life. But if you have a big beard and you've had one for a while, I also suggest shaving it off just, it, just for fun. And some of you guys are horrified by the thought of that. And, and I told you guys that your beard shouldn't be your identity. And some of you have come back and still told me it's my identity. <laughs> And I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, man, you've got to have a little more versatility than that. So, you know, I, I would suggest even, even if you don't want to shave it off, trimming it short, trying different sizes. And that's why I've made so many beard trimming tutorials so you could figure out how to do that. I've made all the mistakes. I'm, I've taken you on my journey. I've allowed you to sit in on my private sessions as I work with my beard. I've had fun making those videos and I continue to have, I can, I want to continue to have more fun doing that. Uh, but this time it's not a matter of trimming the beard back shorter and shorter. It's going to be maintaining the beard as I grow out further and further. Now I don't really want to grow it out much more than an inch, which I could easily accomplish a one inch beard in two months because your beard grows at the rate on the average about a half an inch a month. So in two months, I could have a one inch beard. And actually one inches is probably a little bit longer than I, I really want because my I think my favorite beard length, if I can get really specific, is anywhere between 15 and 22 millimeters. So shorter than an inch. And uh, we're talking, you know, uh, a little bit longer than an inch and a half. I, I'm sorry, that's, that's wrong. A little bit longer than, um, well, let me scratch that. Forget that I even said that. So it's it's less than an inch, but, you know, it's just, to me, it's just a very nice executive looking beard and it suits all kinds of styles and fashions and looks and just very clean looking. The bigger beard, the longer beard like I had can be clean looking and stylish, but it's a little more difficult. And uh, some guys don't care about that. I think it shows. I think you should want to care about your appearance. And, and some, some guys really bristle at the feedback that people give them. Uh, and usually it's women. Usually it's women, isn't it, guys, that, that tell us whether they do like our beard or not, or they like beards at all. Uh, and, and some guys dismiss the cues altogether. I say you should look at it you know, kind of a halfway kind of way uh, where you don't want to be completely dismissive, but you don't want to completely 
yield to every comment that someone makes. I think you should pay attention and decide whether they have a valid point, whether your critics um, maybe have an eye for something that you don't. And maybe they have, you know, I guess it comes down to a matter of whether they have their, have your best interest in mind or if they're just sharing their opinion in general about, a, about beards, about facial hair. Uh, but that's why I play around with a whole bunch of different ideas. I'm not afraid to grow the big beard out. I'm not afraid to cut it off. I'm not afraid to, to try to trim my beard to a certain length for the first time in front of you guys. It's just... It's, that's one of the joys of having a beard. But for me right now, you know, I, I, want, I knew I wanted to go to the month of August, you know, without a beard. So I don't know if next month I'll do a shorter beard or what. I, here's, here's, what I, here's what I do have in mind. I'll share this with you guys. What I have in mind is, you know, kind of starting off with what I told you here at the beginning of the video. Here's what it looks like when you're just rocking stubble. And I think it's a cool look, the one millimeter beard. About the shortest you can get without taking off the guard, okay? The next step for me would be maybe the three or the five day beard. And the reason why I would start there is because someone who claims to be an Italian barber told me in my comment section of one of my videos, he said, God, he said, man, just shave your head and do the five day beard. Trust me on this. And I thought, you know, I don't know this guy. He might be for real. He might not be, but uh, doesn't sound like someone something doesn't sound like something someone would say if they didn't know what they were talking about. And uh, so I may do the five day beard next, and then the ten day beard, which according to videos that I see on YouTube, that is the most popular beard length for women. Like, not <laughs> not that women would wear but that women like the most. And so a five day beard, I mean, I'm sorry, a 10 day beard would be kind of cool. I would definitely have my head shaved for that. I don't want my hair growing out that long. I don't think I want my hair growing out past a seven day length. Just because I've, if you remember a couple years, well, maybe a year, a couple years ago, I did that. I actually grew my hair out again for the first time. I didn't let it grow very long before I realized I just do not like that because I have this widow's peak. I have, I mean, I have, I have an okay time growing hair all over, but this has always been my hairline. I've never liked it. And you know, once you go bald and you see positive results, you don't really want to go back. But I do let my hair and my beard grow out for seven days after shaving my face completely clean. And I think it's a cool look. And I usually, this is the way I always did it in the past. I usually just shave it again. So shaving once a week. And that's fun. It's so low maintenance that it, it almost makes me never want to go back. I never have to think about my appearance. I can get rained on. The humidity doesn't bother me like it does a bigger beard or any kind of beard length at all. But yeah, I, I don't have to worry about the humidity. I don't have to worry about the rain, which we get a lot of in Florida. Um, I don't have to worry about time spent in front of the mirror doing the things I need to do. And don't get me wrong, all those things are fun. All of those things are fun. All the beer products are fun. All the styling is fun. Experimenting is fun. But sometimes you grow weary of that. When it becomes the new normal, then the next step after that is you get a little bored and altogether tired of it. And then you just become curious as to what else you could do. So that's why I change it up all the time and probably always will because that's just the nature of my personality. And I just, I just can't imagine keeping your beard one length all the time. So this also gives me an opportunity to focus on cologne. I am a big cologne guy. I don't think well at least I don't watch videos like this I don't think there's a lot of videos made about cologne for guys I, I really have no idea I just never look them up maybe there is but I've always grown up loving cologne my dad did too and I have so much cologne at home and I never wear it because I had the beard and the reason why is because beards have a fragrance uh, a beard beard products have fragrances to them and very nice ones. Also, you don't need to wear cologne 
when you're using beard products, unless you're wearing unscented beard products, which I never do, never, ever, okay? It's one of the thrills of collecting all these different beard products is because you get to find, you get to play around with which ones smell nice and which ones are not your favorite necessarily, and then you pass on the information to everybody else. But now I can just focus on wearing the cologne. And I'm having fun doing that. I know it sounds weird. You know, when I was a, when I was a kid, I remember people asking men, why, you're, why are you growing your beard out? And they'd always say, well, it's just something to do. And I always thought to myself, how boring is your life that this thing that you do nothing with, you just let it grow, that's something to do? Now that I'm older, I totally get it. It is fun. It's, it's, it's sort of a game of patience and uh, a, a kind of a trial by fire when you have to listen to the reactions of people around you and their suggestions. So I get it now. I get it now. But now it's, it's a matter of trying other things. And that's what I'm doing. But anyway, I thought I'd make this video, give you kind of an update. And where I'm going, I don't know if next month I'll, I'll grow at the one month beard, if I'll just focus on other things, um, other sh very, very, very short lengths, like, you know, closer to stubble. But we'll see, and I'll take you along with me. It's always fun, and I thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you check out the links down below for the Beardscape that I use all the time. I also use a, a really nice wall aqua trimmer. I'll put that down below too. That's a great, great beard trimmer. And also I'll put a link for the Brio Rays, which I like to use for my head and also the kind of kinds of razors that I, I like to use on my, on my head and on my face now. So if you care at all about what my suggestions are, they'll be down there with the links. Please like this video. Give me your comments, and if you're, if you're visiting this channel for the first time, you are welcome to introduce yourself down in the comments, and um, I try to get back to everybody at some point. It's not always easy, depending on what my time is like, but um, thanks for watching once again, and uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. I'm out.